So this channel is about all things personal finance, a lot of fintech. So we look at a lot of budgeting apps and a lot of bank accounts with cashback debit cards. Well, last December 30th, I posted a video called What's in My Wallet? And let me tell you, it has had a turnover since then. So let me show you what cards I replaced, what I'm carrying now. But a quick caveat before we start, none of them are credit cards. I've talked about this many times on the channel, but my goal is to show people that you can live without a credit card. When we spend money, it's either cash or debit cards. But the fun part about fintech is that it changes very quickly. So a lot of of banks have started providing these cashback debit cards, something where you can get a little bit of benefit for the spending without putting yourself in a ton of debt. Now, first thing to note is I didn't change what I have in my wallet just for the sake of this video. The only major difference is I normally carry my driver's license, my work ID, and my health insurance card. I don't have those in my wallet today for privacy reasons. Second thing to note, I love my wallet. This is the one that I've been using for probably about nine months now, I think. This is what I had in my last wallet video as well. It's called the Code 118 wallet. It's got an aerospace grade aluminum body, it's got a strap for around the outside so that you can carry cash, some other cards, and then it's got this latch at the bottom where if you pull it, it pops out the cards. It makes it super easy for accessing any of the cards that you need, which I love. What I have right here is the green one. It can hold seven cards inside the case, which is what you can pop it out with. And then it's got this back plate here where I can add extra cards if I want to. Right now, I pretty much just keep like a check and a few receipts that I pick up. Then I've got some cash in here and I also have the Code 118 pen. It is the tiniest, cutest little pen I've ever seen. And it is so convenient because I don't know how many times there's something that I need to sign, I don't have a pen. Something super important. Or you can sign a check, whatever. It flows really nicely. It's a little pricey but it is a nice pen. Okay, so last December, I had four debit cards that I was carrying around in my wallet. First was the Juno debit card. Second was my Chase debit card. Third was the Ramsey Gazelle debit card. And fourth was the Tree card. Now, a couple things have changed. One, Ramsey's Gazelle debit card has shut down. Very sad. It was added to my debit card graveyard, which seems to be growing quickly. Second thing is the Chase debit card I don't tend to carry around very much anymore. It's still one of our primary accounts, but it doesn't have very good of cashback, so I just don't carry it. And then there's one more coming change, which I'll tell you about here in a minute. So let me pop this out real quick. The first debit card that I have in here is the Onyx debit card which is actually a new car that I am testing right now. So far, I like it. It's got some pros and cons, of course. I'll have a link in the description down below if you wanna check it out. This one is a metal debit card, so it's nice and strong, very solid. Number two is the tree card. If you can see it here, it's wooden, which is really cool. Kind of blends in with the desk, so you might have to look a little harder. The thing about the tree card is it's been great. I like it a lot, but the rewards just went downhill significantly. Most of the same rewards are still available, but they became much more pricey in terms of how many points that you have to turn in to redeem those rewards. Also, they don't allow turning in points for statement credit anymore, which is a real bummer. But when you spent with the tree card before, it would give you one point for every dollar that you spent, as well as planting a tree for every $50 that you spent. But the rewards ended up being about the equivalent of 1% cash back. But recently, they just changed their rewards to the point where it's more like half a percent back. When there's other debit cards out there with better options, then I'm probably gonna be changing this up. I've still been using it recently just because we have cash in that account, but I'm going to be replacing the tree card with the Discover debit card. I really haven't carried this one around in the past, but I'm requesting a secondary one for my wife. This will probably be our primary debit card for making purchases because they have 1% cash back. Now the cash back currently maxes out at $30 per month, which is the same as $3,000 of spending. So total within the year, you can get up to $360 of cash back. Pretty decent overall, and I love that it's connected to a savings account and you can use checks through it. It's got mobile check deposit. I've got a review about that. You can check that out up here. And also I'll have it linked in the description down below. The fourth and final is the Juno debit card. This one is also metal, very solid. I like this one a lot and we use it a lot, but generally for very specific expenses. And the reason is because Juno provides 5% cash back on up to 10 different chosen companies per month. You can change these once per month, which is nice. We don't change ours a whole lot, but it is nice because they have some different travel ones like you know, some different airlines, they have Lyft and Uber. So if we're going on a trip, I might change it to that. But mostly we use this for Amazon, Home Depot, 
and Kroger. We're preparing for a baby, so I've got to admit, we spend a lot of money on Amazon. Dude, we also spend a lot of money at Home Depot because of all of our home improvement projects. Not to mention home projects where we're preparing for the baby, like repainting walls. Three, Kroger is where we do the majority of our grocery shopping, and groceries are expensive. There are also a number of gas stations where you can get 5% back on, so that helps a lot too. With the Juno debit card, you can max out your cash back at $300 per year. And I'm not going to lie, we are already at $242 and it's the end of May. But that is a great one if you've got a lot of large purchases from some larger companies. Also have that review linked in the description down below. And that's what's in my wallet going into the summer. If you have any questions, then drop them in the comments down below. Give this video a like if you found this helpful. Subscribe here for more fintech reviews and watch this video next.